better than the last time I watched him. I know that. <laughs> yeah, back when he won the U.S. Amateur tonight. Yeah. You see, both these players played this 17th hole well. Fitzpatrick and Zalatoris. Set up down the right side, trying to hit a hot hook, and he's done just that. I loved watching Matthew Fitzpatrick win the U.S. Open, and he had a wonderful episode on Full Swing that came out not that long ago. But did you know he has a throwback golf swing? Hi, I'm Christo Garcia, the founder of the Miracle Swing Experience. I'd say I'm the creator of the Miracle Swing, but that's simply not true. This was the original golf swing the way it was taught for decade after decade up until about the 1970s. Then the golf industry decided to start exploring all different sorts of ways to swing the golf club, and it's like golf forgot the original golf swing. Well, I'm here to bring it back because you should be able to play confident golf and not have to spend hours and hours on the driving range. You should just be able to see the target and hit the ball. That's why I call it a miracle. I haven't worried about my golf swing at all since I learned this technique. Since I started teaching this swing, golfers from around the world have written me thousands of thank you messages. So I'd like for you to experience the miracle. So go to Miracle Swing Experience or click the link below because I think it's time that all golfers experience the miracle for themselves. Now please enjoy today's video. Longer than the last time I watched him, I know that. <laughs> yeah, back when he won the U.S. Amateur tonight. Yeah. See, both these players played this 17th hole well. Fitzpatrick and Zalatoris. Set up down the right side, trying to hit a hot hook, and he's done just that. Wow, what an awesome golf swing. Let's talk about Matthew Fitzpatrick, who has the exact swing that I'm working on. What do you know? So what we see here is an inside over the top throwing motion. And I don't know anybody who does it better. Like it looks better to me than Scotty Scheffler. This is a beautiful golf swing. Wow, so cool. So if we take a look at this iron shot a little bit closer, I wanna point out how low and around he goes before he lifts it up. That's a half moon backswing. That's what I'm talking about when I talk about a half moon backswing. Deep takeaway. So deep it only has one way to go. Now let's look at his right arm as he takes this back. It's an internal and then it goes external. He rolls that arm open and then he throws down with his right hand and narrows. That's the feeling that we want, is that narrowing, just like a throw. Man, and he crushes it. So let's look at this driver now. Such a pretty swing, 178 miles an hour. That is outstanding. Like I mentioned, he's picked up five miles an hour in club head speed, swinging about 119. I'm sure he's very often in the low 120s. That is just what we want. So good. The slinging action, the speed of the throw. This is the swing to emulate. In fact, I'm going to be emulating it. So I put this arrow here because I want to point out this trigger move with his knee. Wow, look at that. Doesn't that look familiar? That's just like all the classic swingers that I like. Great trigger move. And then he pulls around. Uh, people have talked about my hips starting my backswing. I do feel like I start my backswing with my lower body and my hips and that pulls the club around just like Mr. Fitzpatrick here. Now the next thing I'm going to point out after his knee is I want you to see his left heel 
Oh, his left heel is coming up off the ground. How good is that in a classic swing? And now we have the throw. Oh my gosh. This is one of the best golf swings I've ever seen. And with my new eyes, I wouldn't touch a thing. I absolutely love it. So now let's take a look at the swing with my miracle dots. <laughs> That's a good one right there. Look at this half moon backswing. Now, P2 is when the driver or the club is parallel to the ground. That's why I have to take it all the way back to here before that club is parallel. He swung it around so low around his waist, and I love it. It's so deep, now it starts to work its way up in this half-moon pattern that we see. It's got nowhere else to go. It, it can't go any deeper. He swings it around flat, and it swings up like Raymond Floyd. Now he's in a position to begin the throw. And we see him load into that right arm. Left leg is going to plant, and now he's over the top. Just screaming down at the ball. That's an OTT golf swing, my friends, and it just won the U.S. Open. One of the finest swings you're ever going to see. Congratulations, Matthew Fitzpatrick, on an incredible win. So, guys, pick up the over-the-top miracle swing. It'll change your life like it did mine. I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. <laughs> The over-the-top move has been around forever. If you look at golfers before the 1960s, like Bobby Jones, Sam Snead, and even Ben Hogan, you'll notice they had a little over-the-top move. But that's because they took the club back to the inside, under the plane, and put it on the plane. Today, everybody's teaching that you take the club outside and over the plane to drop it in. I found that this causes pushes and hooks and it just hurt my back. My over the top miracle swing is the easiest way to hit solid golf shots. It's time to switch your swing and get better at golf. Just go to myswingevolution.com.